Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I was heavily influenced by Doja Cat's E-Girl makeup tutorial and I thought it was really cool, really pretty. I love her a lot and I saw Jenna Marbles basically recreated her look and I wanted to just do my own E-Girl look today and try my hand at it. So if you want to know how I created this look today, then keep on watching. Say hi to the pimple that I popped on my cheek. Say hi to Nancy. So I'm going to start off with the eyes today. First, I'm going to prime using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and my M173 brush. So I didn't really see any eyeshadow that like was a statement for e-girl makeup. So I'm just going to do like a pink half cut crease today and just see how that goes. I saw a lot of like natural kind of looks and there was a lot of like dramatic like colorful looks too so you really can just do whatever you want but I did notice that they have of course winged liner and they do of course have like darker um outer corners. They do white in their waterline but have like dark eyeshadow underneath that like in their lash line so I'm going to do that to make my eyes pop. So first I'm going to grab a M441 brush in the shade Pinkity Drinkity from the James Charles X Morphe palette and I'm just going to put that in my crease as my transition shade. And I am going to drag it closer to my nose to really elongate my eye. Now with a denser packing brush, I took mine from my Soft Glam palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to pick up the shade Skip from that same James Charles X Morphe palette and deepen up the crease. Alright, I'm going to take our fluffier brush and pick up Pinkity Drink Beauty with just the tiniest bit of skip mixed in and blend those together. Okay, going back in with that dense brush and skip. And I'm going to pack that on the outer corner. I'm going to go back in with that fluffy brush and do the same thing where I blend out the edges with a mixture of both the light and the neon pink. going to go back in with that dense brush but instead of skip I'm going to pick up love that and deepen up our outer corner and a little bit of the crease but staying towards the outer corner. Picking up a little bit of skip on my pinky and just tapping that over this little line between my primer and the other shadows. Just to soften it a little bit so I can add my shimmer and it won't have any lines of demarcation later. Now I'm going to take the fluffy side of my Anastasia brush and pick up Love That and skip and blend that in with the outer corner. Alright, now I'm going to take a shimmer shade and plop that on the lid. I think I might just stick with this white kind of aesthetic. I'm going to take the shade, I think it's called Spotlight, it's in the top row, the second shade. Or ring light, maybe is what it's called, yeah. And I'm just going to pack that with my finger on my inner corner. I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye and I'll be right back. I might not film me doing my eyeliner, I'm not really sure, um, but if you see me with eyeliner later, you know what I use, the Maybelline Line Stiletto. Okay, I've decided that I'm going to try to film myself doing my eyeliner. If it doesn't work, then you won't see it, obviously, but I'm going to try my best. The reason why I did my eyes first is because I want this eyeliner to be like big and dramatic and like perfect. So if I mess it up, it'll be easier to clean it up now than it will be if I had my like face makeup on. So when I do my eyeliner just like normal every day, um, This is like as far as I would take it. I like it to just like line up with this line of my eye to make it just like the shape that I wanted, the shape that I think is the most flattering for my eyes. But e-girls have a little bit more of a dramatic eyeliner going on. So I'm going to um, start it at the beginning over here of my eye. So I'm going to try to like follow this curvature and just like do the wing here. You see like that line? I like to sometimes instead of just doing the lines, I like to do this line first and then like build it up to the height that I want it to be. Like.
like that just to keep the angle right. See, like now it's it looks better. There, now it like, see it lines up better. It doesn't go back down at the end. So that's the angle that I'm going to use and just like elongate it a little more. And there we have it. I'm just going to fix this line because it kind of like goes in a little bit. So I'm going to just fix that. And there we go. That is my e-girl wing. Now let's go and do the other side. I'm going to do that off camera so I can get them perfect and I'll be right back. Okay, I got them as even as I could. They're probably not perfect on camera, but in person I can't really see a difference, but you know, it's hard to get them perfect anyway. So now I'm going to start working on the face. First, I'm going to prime using my Benefit Professional Primer. Now for some of my ColourPop No Filter Foundation. Like usual, I'm going to blend this out using my M439 brush. Now I'm going to conceal the highest points of my face using my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Going to blend this out using my M173 brush. Now I'm going to set those same areas using my Morphe E48 brush and my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 05. Now I'm going to set the rest of my face using my Morphe M527 brush and my Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Press Powder. Now I'm going to zoom in once so we can finish off the lower lash line. Alright, first I'm going to take that dense brush from earlier and just pick up a love letter and put that right on the outer corner of the lower lash line. Now I'm going to pick up Skip with that same brush and blend them together and put Skip towards the inner corner. Now I'm going to take our fluffy brush with Pinkity Drinkity and blend that downwards. Lastly, I'm going to pick up Love Letter on that dense brush one more time and put that in the outer corner again. Now I'm going to take a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk and put that in my waterline. Okay, aside from lashes, the eyes are pretty much all done, so now let's start working on the face. First, I'm going to contour using my Morphe E4 brush and my Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit. Okay, for blush, we are naturally going to go all out for this e-girl look. I'm going to use my normal ColourPop Super Shock Blush in the shade Holiday on my Morphe M405 brush first. And if that's not good enough, I'll go in with some eyeshadows that match this color too. I'm going to put some on my nose, of course, as well. I'm going to stick with this pink theme and use the shade Starburst from my Anastasia Beverly Hills Sugar Glow Kit on my Morphe M501 brush. And I am going to wet the brush as well just to give it a whole like wet look. Really gonna coat the brush. For lips, I'm going to use Helsinki by NYX, just to keep with this whole pink theme. And I'm going to overline my lips as well. I usually like to like accentuate the cupid's bow, but this time I'm going to just try to get rid of my cupid's bow and just fill that part in to make my lips look a little fuller. Kind of like the TikTok pout trend where you like glue your lip up, but without actually gluing it because I'm not doing that. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about this, if I'm being honest, but I think I'm going to, I don't know, do something to make it look better. <laughs> I 
And I think I'm going to add a little bit of black liquid lipstick just on the center like I did my 1920s look, just the tiniest bit. And tap that out with my finger. Then I'm going to put a lighter pink. I'm going to use Diva by Jeffree Star just on the center of my bottom lip. All right, now I'm going to take my eyeliner and draw some hearts right here on my cheeks, just like a typical e-girl. And then I'm going to pop on some lashes and be back with the finished look. Here's the finished look guys, really hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe, hit that little bell icon so you never miss out when I upload and I will see you in the next video. Bye!